Hey guys, welcome back to the Kinwoven Home. I hope it's not echoey. It probably is. Thank you to Stearns and Foster for sponsoring today's video. Can't wait to tell you guys all about that. And I am really excited about today's video because I am showing you an update of our master bedroom. I showed you guys this room earlier when we first moved in. It was one of the rooms that we tackled in that three-day makeover. Whatever we had at our fingertips, we used from the old house and we just made the best of it in this space. Well, things have changed a lot since then. If you're new, I just had a baby four months ago and so you're still sleeping in our room with us. So our room is definitely different than it would be if he was in his own room, which is coming soon. I want you guys to answer the question in the video and that is, what do you need from your bedroom in this season of life? Maybe you have dogs and you need a way to protect your comforter. Maybe you just want a space to just hang out and chill and you want to cultivate a place to do like a morning journal session. Maybe you have a baby and you need to make it a space that's still your space but also their space. So leave me that comment, answer the question, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Come on in. Okay, so the first thing that we did in this space to make it a cozy oasis, and something I recommend for everybody, is to try to identify a space for relaxing that's not your bed, and also have a really relaxing bed. In every house that we've lived in, and this is by far the largest space that we have lived in, Tyler and I, we've always had a spot, no matter what size bedroom we had, that was kind of like a spot to chill. In our Hermosa Beach apartment, it was a bench at the end of the bed. In Kensington, it was a bench in front of a window. In Tulsa, it's kind of like a whole sitting room, which is actually really fun. Believe it or not, one of these chairs is actually a rocking chair, so I can nurse Sawyer in that chair when I wake up. And then it's really fun to have a really cozy sofa right here on the side. If you have a small space, and you're always sitting on your bed and you're working from your bed and you're sleeping in your bed. Sometimes that can get a little complicated. It can actually disrupt your sleep if you're working from bed and I know a lot of us are working from home. So having um, kind of a dedicated spot, even if it's just a chair in a corner in your room, I recommend you try it because it does make a world of difference. If you guys love any of the pieces you see in this room, um, most of it is still online. A lot of the furniture is from Article as far as like the sitting area over here. So if you look in the description box below, I will be sure to link all the different details of the space and the furniture items and some of the decor. Okay, the second thing that we did in this room, which I think is gonna be a pretty obvious tip, is to make sure that we had a really cozy bed environment. Let's talk about the bed frame. You want your frame to be a focal point when you walk into the room. We actually got this awesome four poster bed. We do have a very large master bedroom and so I think the space kind of needed something that was a little bit more substantial in here which I think is really fun. And then bedding is another way to really add in some really great layers. I always recommend that you keep your bedding neutral. That way you can update your pillows throughout the season to summer to fall to winter whatever and then also for different holidays if you want to decorate your bedroom for Christmas and keeping it neutral allows you a lot of flexibility not only change up you know for seasons but also if your style kind of changes as the years go on now underneath those cozy sheets is probably the most important part of your room and that is your mattress I think they say we spend like a third or two-thirds or something of our life on a mattress it's something that you should invest in because sleep is very, very, very important. Stearns and Foster has been around for 175 years. When you have been around for that long, you must be doing something right. These people know how to make a mattress. I'm gonna link them below. You guys can really read more and check it out yourself. But something really fun for me that I've been able to be a part of with Stearns and Foster, they invited me to be a part of their design council this year. So it's something I'm doing with three other designers and they invited me to help design their new mattress. They're launching this new mattress to celebrate their 175 75th birthday so I will be sure to let you guys know when that is available first of all I have tried a lot of mattresses out there and this is by far the most comfortable mattress I've ever slept on not only is it the perfect amount of firmness for Tyler he really likes a firm bed but it, we have the mattress it's called the reserve with the plush top so it has a little bit of memory foam in it and it's just so snuggly and cuddly something I think is really cool is each mattress is handcrafted and the person that makes the mattress actually signs their 
their signature on the mattress. I also love that it has a cooling system built into it. So not only does it have a tensile cover, it actually has ventilated coils and some vents on the side of the mattress that actually look beautiful. We originally got this mattress when I was still pregnant and we have the adjustable base, which actually allows me to sit the bed up or lay the bed down, which is amazing. And you can put your feet up and down. I loved it when I was pregnant and I love it even more now um, because I can sit the bed up when I am feeding in the morning or late at night. Okay, let's move on to thing number three that we did to make this face an oasis. Add curtains. Now, I think a lot of people just concentrate on workable shades in the bedroom, but adding curtains, it does provide privacy if you want it to, but it also just adds a layer of comfort and coziness and softness to the space. It just makes it feel like an established, beautiful, part of your home. If you guys know anything about the curtain trick, my mom and I teach that all the time. Go all the way up the wall, put your rods really close to the ceiling and it'll draw the eye up and allow the room to look larger. Rather than putting the rod closer to the windowsill, you wanna bring it up. And then just make sure that your curtains go all the way to the floor and lightly touch the floor. One thing I love about the curtains we selected, they're very casual feeling. They are a linen. I will link them below for you guys. I know you're interested. These for me were an investment. I do love the ones from Ikea and I talk about those all day long, but I wanted to get something that was a little bit thicker and a little bit more grown up. And I just love the detail of the brass hardware that we have on the curtain rod. I love the finials on the end. They're glass and they kind of have a clear iridescent color, which I think is kind of dreamy for a bedroom. We do have working shades. We can lower those if we want privacy, but the curtains, Put them on your walls, not in front of your windows, out on each side of the window, and you'll be good to go. And the last thing we did in here is we made sure that this space was serving us in this season of life. Adjust your life so that it fits the season of life that you're in, but it also makes your space look beautiful. For us, we just had a baby, so our bedroom is looking a little bit different these days than it used to. For example, we have this giant crib over here. It's kind of like a boat, but it's a beautiful boat. So finding ways to still adjust our life to meet the needs of the season that we're in, but doing it in a way that is still really beautiful and fun. Like I wanted to make sure that the crib matched the aesthetic of our bedroom because I knew it would be in here for a while. But also this was my vanity that I just got. I will link this below for you guys because I know you're going to be curious as to where I got it. This vanity in specific, it used to be over centered on this wall, which is where I would originally want it to be. But in this season, I can't necessarily have both and have it centered. So I, sh I shifted my space over. I still have a space to get ready in the morning and it's good enough for now. Over here, I have a beautiful chair that's actually a rocking chair. It was really important to me to have a rocking chair in our bedroom if we could fit, which we obviously could, but I didn't want it to be something that stuck out like a sore thumb. I wanted it to be beautiful and I wanted it to be something that was functional like that but it rocks, it's comfy, and it looks really nice. I also have a place for Scout. That's not where she lives, but that's just her water bowl and her toys. Over here, I've got a cute little table, and I have this really cute little container that has all of Sawyer's like vitamins, nail clippers, but it's decorated in a way that I like. Let me show you over here. These bookcases have been with me for probably almost 10 years. I'm gonna tell you right now, these were custom made. I get questions on these all the time. I did find a dupe that's pretty close to similar. I will link below. As soon as Sawyer starts to crawl, I might have to lose these bookcases because they're not quite sturdy or maybe we'll like just literally drill them into the wall. I'm not sure. It'll be like a floating bookshelf bookcase. But I love that I have a spot for all my perfumes and I still have a little box down here that has my baby carriers and it has all my pump pieces. So it's still stuff that I need, but it's organized and decorated well and still looks like cohesive in our space. And then over here, well, I don't really know what I wanna show you over here, except I wanna show you the shelf because I think it's pretty and Tyler's hats that I somehow corralled into one bucket. Do you see how many hats this man has? He's got a lot of hats. And then over here, I wanted to have a diaper changer in this area. And what I love about this piece of furniture is I can take this off and then it'll just be a dresser and it won't be a dresser and a diaper changer. So when he moves out, I can put all my stuff in here, take this off, take away my wipe warmer. Yes, I have a wipe warmer. He was born in December, so it was just really cold and I just felt too bad putting cold wipes on him. We also have a diaper pail if you'd like to see that. Over here, we have this gallery wall. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't love this wall. However, when we first moved in, 
I didn't know what to do here. We had this giant box, the old owner put their TV here. So we had to put something to cover it up. We wanted to have a TV in here, and this actually is a TV. This is our frame TV that we love so much, so it looks like an art print for most of the time, and then it can change into an actual TV. But one day, I am gonna change it, and it's gonna be something beautiful, and it's not gonna look like this. But I think the message is actually really important. I used what I had when we first moved in. I put it up, and it's gotten us through the last few months. And in the next few months, when it's time to start redecorating the space or if we want to do something different, I can take the time to order something new or to repurpose something else in the house. But I didn't allow it to paralyze me because it wasn't perfect. You may not have a huge budget to go buy everything brand new and so using what you have but making it the most that you can for the space that you have. Don't be afraid to put holes in your wall and get something up on the wall. And then you're not married to it, you can take it down, you can patch up the wall, you can do whatever you want to it later on, but at least you have something and it's gonna get your space looking and feeling like home. Okay, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Scout and I miss you very much. It's good to see you. Um, I wanna say thank you to Stearns and Foster for sponsoring today's video and allowing me to be a part of their design council and to be able to partner with them has been so fun. And I will see you guys next time. If you don't follow on Instagram, you really should because we're starting to do projects out in the rest of the house and it's hard to film them quickly and get them up on YouTube. We can get it out much faster on Instagram. Eventually, we do make videos about it. We share the whole thing on YouTube and we only share glimpses on Instagram. But if you want the sneak peeks, go follow on Instagram at Shara Stevens. And make sure you check out my mom's channel because she just got into her new house. She just finally moved in and she's got all kinds of plans going on over there. So, love you, mean it. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, thumbs up the video, and I will see you next time. Bye guys. And this is Sawyer. Okay, I saw some comments in a previous video that you guys were missing him and you wanted to see him in more videos. In the beginning, I filmed all those videos when I was still pregnant and I was just kind of taking time off. And now, he's usually napping whenever I get to film. That way I can get some work done, which is filming videos for you guys. But he just woke up. So he wanted to say hi. Can you show me your cool hair? He's the sweetest little baby. Yes. He's been the best roommate. He really has been. He's sleeping through the night. He's got a wild cowlick that pushes his hair out to the side and it's so funny. And he drools. And usually he smiles, but he's quite tired right now. And you're just so into your sister, huh? Him and Scout get along so well. It's so cute and life is good. So, wanted to introduce you guys to him. Say hi. Like and subscribe. Woo! You can talk to us? I have a bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you see that? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you don't have to whisper. <laughs> you want to say something? Hi. 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 And cut. <laughs> <laughs>